Hi friends. Today is going to be a really short and sweet April TBR. I feel like I didn't do very many videos in March. It was a little bit of a chaotic month and I had like a week where I didn't feel well. And then the kids have been on spring break and I really didn't even try to film anything <laughs> while they were on spring break. I will have to figure out how to balance YouTube and parenting like when they're home during the summer but for now I just didn't do it and it's fine kind of nice to just you know chill but here we are to talk about what I want to read in April and I am going to learn from the mistakes I made in March and I have very few books on my TBR comparatively. So to start off, wait, I gotta sit different. My knees are too old for that position. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Oh, also, my washer and dryer going, hopefully that's not carried over to my microphone. And it just got super dark outside, but you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna push through. So for April, I want to read the books that are on the Nebula shortlist. I read the novella list and the novel list. And I only have to read two of the novels. So I would like to read uh, Spear by Nicola Griffith and The Mountain in the Sea. That's the other novel I haven't read. And I don't remember who the author is. I didn't write down author names, of course. Um, and then for the novellas, I need to read A Prayer for the Crown Shy by Becky Chambers. I actually started this already this morning doing uh, reading sprints with Liv from Olivia Reads a Latte and Stephanie Bookish. Uh, and so I've gotten a little bit of this listen, listened to on audio. Um, so I would like to read this. <laughs> novella on the short list is I Never Liked You Anyway by Jordan Cruella. This is a Eurydice and Orpheus retelling. And I started this last night, <laughs> night as well. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, it's got a really interesting voice and storytelling structure. I will say so far, I mean, I'm only... 32 pages in, I would say so far that I, you know how sometimes you can pick up a Greek myth retelling and it doesn't really matter if you have a lot of like previous knowledge of Greek mythology. I don't feel like that's the case with this. I feel like you have to have a baseline knowledge of who the Greek gods and goddesses are and of certain myths. And I uh, love the Orpheus and Eurydice myth. Uh, if you've seen or heard the music for Hades Town, that's also a retelling of that myth. When my husband and I were still dating, we were both body doubles in an opera retelling of the Eurydice and Orpheus myth. And so that's really fun. So I have a lot of history and connection to this particular mythology. So I'm enjoying reading this author's take on that mythology. Um, and there's a lot of music references, which is really fun too. This turned into a book review. Sorry. I'm also going to read this. I also need to read Bishop's Opening, which, if I remember correctly, isn't published as a book. Uh, it's available in an edition of Clark's World from, I believe, last January, like January 2022. Angela at Literature Science Alliance said on her channel that um, Clark's World has a podcast. And so there is a podcast episode for Bishop's Opening. So I'm probably going to listen to it in that format because reading long form on the internet just does not work for my brain. And then I also need to read High Times in the Low Parliament by Kelly Robson. I'm excited about this one. I've heard a lot of good things and I've read this author before. Uh, she has another novella that I've read and I really liked uh, so I'm excited to read hers. And then her book I would like to prioritize is The Bandit Queens by Parini Shroff. And this is the book club pick for Noelle, seven pages for her Silly Goose book club. Is that what it's called? But yeah, I've heard really good things about this. And I love this cover and I have the audiobook from Libro. 
uh, and I'm really looking forward to getting into it. So that's my TBR for the month. It's pretty short uh, because um, what I found last month where I had that massive middle grade March TBR and then my massive non-middle grade TBR is that having that many books that I had put on paper that I wanted to read meant that I, I didn't feel like I could mood read as much as I want to. And I did go off my TBR quite a bit, but uh, there's always <laughs> a lot of weird guilt associated when I wildly deviate from my TBR. So I wanted to make it a lot smaller this month and then have more room to like go down a rabbit hole. Oh, I did forget a book. I, I do this every month, every month. And the next month, like my, my whole TBR is going to be in this category. So hopefully this isn't a problem. Hopefully I remember. My self-destructing TBR book for next month or for this month is Fresh Banana Leaves, Healing Indigenous Landscapes Through Indigenous Science by Jessica Hernandez, PhD. So I purchased this at an indie bookstore last April and it's still in red. So it's going on the stack and I either have to read it or attempt to read it or unhaul it by the end of April. So that is also <laughs> added to my pile. And yep, those are all the books I want to prioritize in April. But of course, as I said, I'm a big mood reader. So who the heck knows what else will get thrown into the mix. But I have a really good feeling about April. I think it's going to be a pretty stellar reading month. Hopefully also like an awesome real life month. <laughs> And yeah, I'm just ready for some sunshine, for it to not be quite so cold, and to just have a good time. And to figure out my outdoor reading situation, because I love to read outside once the weather gets nice enough. And I need, I spent a good amount of time last summer figuring out the backyard situation. And I feel like this year I need to set up a front yard situation. Um because it just sounds like a good time. Also, we have this beautiful tree in our front yard and it would be really nice to be able to sit outside and read underneath the tree, but not on the ground because I'm getting too old to sit on the ground like that lady <laughs> and her health issues. have been so stress stressful for this last month. So fingers crossed, we now have it all figured out and she will be healthy, not happy, because I don't know that she's ever happy, but, uh, less cranky. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for sharing some of your precious time with me. I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are and you also have an incredible month. Okay, bye friends.